Hello guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your iPhones or iOS devices to iOS 15. Let's get to it. The method I'm going to be showing you now is how to update without a Wi-Fi connection. As you can see here, we have one of our devices on LTE and one connected to Wi-Fi. I did that just to show you how both of them work. To update your iPhone, what you want to do is go into settings, general, software update. As you can see, it's checking for software updates. We're on iOS 14.8, but also available upgrade to iOS 15. So you click upgrade to iOS 15, and you can see there the upgrade page showing you what iOS 15 is all about. But the problem now is download and install is grayed out, which means we cannot click it to upgrade our iOS device. And that's because we are on mobile data connection instead of a Wi-Fi connection. Now I'm going to show you the Wi-Fi connection. Settings, general, software update, checking for updates found the update upgrade to ios 15 and you can see there we have download and install blue there and we can hit it put in your password agree to apple stems and you know sign your life away agree agree and we have our updates requested which means the update is about to start downloading 17 minutes to complete download now i'm going to show you how to fix it here all you have to do is go back to general date and time turn off set automatically and set the dates one month ahead i think two three weeks also works but just use one month to be safe and hit september here move it to october we're going to the future you're welcome go back to general software updates let's check for the update upgrade to is 15 as you can see there it is now showing blue which means we can tap it put in our pin i've put in the pin now you can see there it's processing terms and condition if you want you can read it but well you have to agree so agree again to sign your life away to apple agree so that's a warning saying do you want to download the mobile data yes i want to do that that's what i want to do continue as you can see update requested and that download is about to begin so there you go about four minutes remaining to update to iOS 15. Yes, I have a faster internet connection on my mobile data compared to my Wi-Fi. So now that all the downloading and preparing processing is done, we are ready to install iOS 15. So all you have to do is hit install now to begin the installation process. Verifying updates. And the installation process will begin. Now our device is done updating to iOS 15. Hello, you too. So we'll just swipe up to unlock. Your phone has been updated to iOS 15.0. Welcome to iPhone. Thank you. And now we are on iOS 15. I'll just show you that real quick. Settings, general, about iOS 15.0. Now I'm going to show you two other methods you can use to update your phone from iOS 14 to iOS 15. So the first method is open iTunes. This works on both Windows, PC, and your Mac. Connect your phone using an original USB cable. Wait for iTunes to detect your phone. Welcome to your new iPhone, continue. And iTunes will do some backing up and all that. Just let it do its thing. So here I'll hit get started. And now we can see our device information and everything we need to know about this phone as you can see here it says a newer version of your iphone software is available version 15.0 you can go ahead to hit updates and you know it will start looking for the software and if you hit update here it's going to download the software and then install it you can also get the actual installation file by going through this website ipsw.me um well we have an iphone so i'll hit iphone and what iPhone do we have? We have the iPhone 10. iPhone 10 hits this here. And when that opens, as you can see here, that's iOS 15.0. You hit this and you hit download and the download starts. But I have already downloaded that. I'll show you that. So that's the file there. If you want to use that downloaded file, what you have to do is you hold shift, hold it down while you click the update button. And now you can navigate and look for the file wherever it is. Well, it's on my desktop and that's it 
the same process it shows you you found the update update so when you click this update right now it's going to update the phone using that file you downloaded and not have to download it from the internet again and make sure you are connected to the internet before you do this so the third method is using this app 3 u tools i've used it on my channel before please if you haven't seen that video definitely check it out i'll leave a link somewhere at the top right corner of your screen so you can check out that video i'm not going in depth into the software in this video because i've covered that already by the way 3 u tools is only available for windows it's not available on mac in the 3 u tools app you can see all the information about your device battery life even your udid is displayed everything icloud lock on yeah but what we are looking for is smart flash so these firmware files are the only files available for you to install on this device right now because they are the only files that are currently signed by apple and as you can see we can still downgrade from 14.8 to 14.7.1 so this is also a downgrade video as much as it is an upgrade video there are two ways to get files into 3 u tools you can either download or import if you hit download as you see there it's gone here and it's going to start downloading download is actually the safer option because that way it's going to download a file and you're going to be sure it's not corrupt you don't want to install a corrupt firmware however even if you have downloaded the file like we did from ipsw.me you can import when you hit import locate where the file is on your computer double click and it's going to import and verify the file what it's trying to do is trying to check that the file is not corrupt as i said you don't want to install a corrupt firmware that will be bad and after checking if the file is not corrupt everything is good it's going to show imported if not it's going to show failed so when you get imported you are good to go also please hit this warning if you have bound an apple id please prepare the id and password so to be on the safe side go ahead to turn off find my iphone on this device if you can successfully turn off find my iphone on this device by imputing the correct password then you are fine next step is you choose whether you want to retain data on your phone or you want to wipe it completely since we are upgrading from 14.8 to 15.0 you can retain user data and that should be fine so after that we'll go ahead and hit flash when we hit flash it's going to show you make sure a good connection you have a good connection between your usb cable and computer use a genuine cable as i said already and it's going to show you your phone show you what you're about to do the firmware you're about to install the mode you are flashing in whether you're jailbroken and here it's very important it says we are not backed up yet i'm not going to back up this device because there's basically nothing on it but it is very advisable please go into backup now and do a full backup so now that we are sure everything is good we'll just go ahead to hit flash as you can see here now we have the flashing process it's trying to detect the product type before you hit flash please make sure you are connected to the internet because it's very important it's going to do some checks now the device has restarted and it's going through uh, recovery mode as it says there enter recovery mode so it's putting the device into recovery mode before it start this flashing process so that's it there rotating and you just have to basically sit down and relax while it does its thing as you can see there the process is complete and the device is rebooting that's it the apple logo has shown so the phone is booting up now let's swipe up to recover that's almost normal so just swipe up put in your code and now it's attempting data recovery because we chose to keep data while we we're flashing so all that is done and the phone has booted up now into ios 15 hello to you too as you can see the software update complete your phone has been updated to ios 15 so right now we can go into settings to check and we'll see that in fact we are now running ios 15. so anyways guys that's been the video please smash that thumbs up button it helps me a lot it helps people discover my videos helps me grow if you love this video and want to see more content like this, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.